Hello Aries, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and today I'll be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of uh, June 2023. Now if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome. I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I'm using my tie-dye tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. And then I will close out your reading, Aries, whoa, <laughs> with a Star Seed Oracle card. Okay. All right, so the cards are obviously talking, so let's get right into the reading. So it looks like Aries, you're making a lot of big changes is what I'm seeing here. The other thing I'm seeing is that uh, you're really doing a lot of inner work. You're really doing a lot of um, self self reflection and really taking control and taking charge. And I think you're also stepping into an awareness that something has to change, something has to be different. So you're doing what needs to be done in order to make that happen. Now when I look at these cards here, it does tell me that energetically things have been very heavy, spiritually heavy for you. Especially with this Ten of Wands, you know, the Ten of Wands talks about sometimes taking on too much, feeling overburdened, and also just kind of having a lot going on. Sometimes to the point to where you can't really take care of yourself because you're taking care of so many other things. But the good news is, is that's only temporary. So when we move into the, the new month of June, understand that this is, you know, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed and, you know, uh, overburdened, but understand that that's temporary and it's not going to last forever. We have this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of healing, releasing, letting go, forgiving all of the things that you need to do in order to be emotionally healthy and emotionally strong. The Emperor card is you really stepping into the role of leading and kind of taking taking a more um, hands-on approach, <clears throat> but also controlling the things that you can you can control. Uh, one of my favorite mentors talks about controlling the controllables, and it looks like that is something that you are doing right now, Aries, with this Emperor card. Now we also have the Tower card. The Tower card talks about deconstructing and something having to literally be broken down in order to be rebuilt, restructured, uh, something re, uh, redone, you know, sometimes starting over. Now this could be a little scary and it could be very uncomfortable. But the thing is, is like in the long term, this is the much better option. This is the much more stable, much more beneficial thing for you to do, especially as it relates to your money. So there could be some things that you need to kind of reevaluate and reconsider as it relates to finances, because there is something that you're going to have to kind of take a step back and redo, you know, something you're going to have to kind of uh, reconsider as it relates to your money. Uh, next up, we have that Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles is a card that talks about your money mindset. And when this card is in the reverse, it means that you no longer have limiting beliefs about what's possible for you. You actually see that you can be successful, wealthy, uh, abundant, all of the things. And so you really have made that internal shift. Remember, money is a mindset first, and you really have to think about what you want, and you really truly have to have the confidence and belief that you can have exactly what you want. Now, you may not have all the answers now, but you do figure it out, Pisces, you know, and I think you're moving in the right direction. At least that's what I'm picking up from the cards here. Finally, we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is the card about balancing the budget. I do get the sense that you will be kind of maybe redoing your budget as we move into the month of June. Aries. I hope I said Aries. Now I'm thinking. <laughs> I hope I didn't say the wrong sign. But Aries. Um... Now this is really interesting because I just got, like I got distracted because just an influx of um, downloads were happening all at once and I feel like there's a whole lot going on, but for some reason Aries, it's like 
when I look at the cards, I feel like something is happening, something is changing in every aspect of your life, right? It's financial, it's personal, work, business, um, even something that could be related to your health. Also something related to your spirituality. It's like you have changes happening on every level, in every plane, and in every phase of your life. Which is what I'm getting when I look at the cards here. But the thing is, is all these changes um, are changes that need to happen in order for you to kind of live the life that you desire. Now we have the lover's card. This is a divine connection. This is where I talk about there's some changes happening in your personal life for the better. Looks like uh, if you're not dating someone, I do sense that you probably will be meeting someone. If you are in a relationship, marriage, partnership, whatever, it looks like that relationship kind of takes on, you know, kind of moves into a higher level, which is really exciting because I do feel like sometimes we, uh, you know, relationships have phases, just like our careers have phases and stages, okay? Uh, next up, we do have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card about having a lot of opportunities. Now, not everything is going to resonate you, so be very selective and very discerning with uh, what type of opportunities that you consider. And if someone offers you something, make sure you evaluate that from all angles before you say yes and before you say no. Now we also have the Fool card. The Fool card is a card that talks about moving in a new direction. However, you're not doing this foolishly or blindly. As a matter of fact, Aries, you are very well uh, informed, I guess would be a great way to say it, uh, when you kind of make your new plans, when you kind of take those next steps, especially as it relates to work, your career, your business, your investments, all those things. It's like you kind of move in the new direction, but you're not doing so blindly. It's like you have a good grasp and a good understanding about what you're doing and how you're going to do it. We have the Empress card next. Now the Empress card is a card about creativity, growth, progress. It's also the card of maturity and also the card of things progressing exactly at the rate that they're supposed to. So the thing about the Empress card is like I'm picking up that there is going to be a monetary opportunity, a new income stream possibly based on your creativity. So Aries, if you do have some type of creative aspect or creative side to you, understand that you can make money off of that. You can profit from your creativity. And the Empress card says yes very easily. Finally, we have the Devil card in the reverse. Now that is a card of releasing unhealthy attachments and releasing toxic relationships and letting go of things that are standing in the way. This is a great card to see in the reverse because it means that you are very clear about what you need to let go of in order to move forward and to make more money. All right, Aries, let's continue on. And see what else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of June 2023. Now we have this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords also was here. Now the Three of Swords is a card that talks about uh, emotional disappointment. It also talks about sometimes feeling just a little um, emotionally heavy. So I wouldn't be surprised, Aries, if you are dealing with something emotional, especially in the second half of June. However, this is something that I think you need to kind of just, it's like you need to kind of go through the process so you can understand you know what's happening how you're feeling and then once you process those emotions they're not going to get in the way of you being clear and having that mental clarity to make the money you want to make sometimes we have to deal with emotions before we can deal with everything else next up we have the page of swords the page of swords is unexpected news as it relates to something being stopped or discontinued this is a fun card because it usually means uh, in my money readings, it means that something is going to be done, <laughs> you know, either the loan's paid off or you don't know, you no longer have to pay a monthly fee for something. It's always good news. And because this is in the reverse, it is unexpected. Next, we have that six of swords. The six of swords means you're going to be planning a trip or you'll be taking a trip in the second half of June. This is really exciting because I do feel like some of you are going to be going on a weekend getaway or a road trip, to, you know, of some sort. So that's going to be fun. Very relaxing. Next up, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands talks about changes in the physical environment. Now, this is something that also can be very surprising because usually most people don't expect changes to happen in their physical environment. But it could be something like uh, the chain changes of furniture, <laughs> you know, something innocent like that, 
or it could even be something at your workplace where you have a change of staffing, uh, a change of you know locations of where you're working. Whatever the case may be, there's definitely going to be some shifting around in your physical environment. Uh, next up, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles means that uh, you don't want to work with anybody else right now, Aries. You want to do your own thing in your own way and your own timing. So people will probably approach you and say, hey, I'd like to work with you. I'd like to partner with you. But I have a feeling you're going to say no, Aries, because you don't want to be, um, you know, kind of trapped or, you know, stuck with somebody else in or in a position that you can't get out of. So I wouldn't be surprised if you say no, if someone offers to like work together. Finally, we got that moon card. Now, the moon card is a card about uh, information, like not having all the facts or not having all, you know, all the information that you need. The thing about the moon is to just be aware of that, you know, because sometimes we move into certain circumstances or situations and we don't have all the details. We don't have every, you know, all the information right up front. It's okay. Just be aware that, you know, if you are moving into something new or something unfamiliar, you don't know, every, you know, you don't know what you don't know. But just be aware, just be aware that um, there could be more to the story. You know what I mean? Like, don't take everything at face value. All right, Aries. We've got some great cards here as we close out the month of June. Now we have the Six of Pentacles. This means you're going to be in a position to be generous. It means you're going to be in a position to really give from your overflow. That's a great place to be, especially financially. Uh, we also got the Two of Cups. Interesting, this is a divine disconnection. Now we have the divine union here. The Two of Cups in the reverse means that you will graciously separate from someone or something that no longer serves you. Now this is a isn't a negative thing, so I don't want you to see it that way, Aries. The thing is, is that... Uh, you know, it could just be some a relationship has run its course, or maybe it's just time for you to move on. I think that's a great thing. Next up, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is really exciting because the Ace of Pentacles always means a brand new stream of income or a brand new source of income. Uh, it's really, really good. It's really, really fun. <laughs> and usually it's something that is very well needed. So uh, don't be surprised if you have some new money coming in towards the end of the month. We also have the Sun card. Now, that's the most positive card in the deck. It doesn't matter how it shows up, upright or reverse. If it is reverse, it just means it's to a lesser degree, but it's still a very good card, especially in your reading, Aries, because we are talking about money, and seeing that Sun card means that, yes, things are going to happen for us financially. Success is on the way. Things will start to flow and work in our favor. You know, you're doing all the right things, Aries. Uh, sometimes you just have to keep working and kind of, you know, stand back and let the results happen and show up as they do. But the good thing is about the sun is that it means you're on the right track. It means, you know, you have confirmation that you're doing the right thing. Finally, we do have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of walking away from something. Now, because this card is in the reverse, I do pick up that there could be some hesitation about leaving something or walking away from something, but eventually you do make the decision to do that, okay? And you have no regrets and you have no, um, you know, guilt feelings because of it. So Aries, your month really is a lot of work. And I don't mean like physical labor, you know, laborious stuff, but I do mean like, you know, you're doing, yes, you know, actual work, but you're also doing a lot of mental and emotional work, clearing out some things, processing some things. And once you do that, you really set the stage for you to be more successful, to make more money, to advance in your career, to expand your business. Okay, so it's all good things. You're putting the right things into place and you will see positive results in doing so. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and close out your reading with a star seed oracle card. Oh, now this is interesting. Okay, so you got karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Interesting because we did talk about some personal relationships kind of, you know, kind of coming up in the month of June for you, Aries. So, you know, and that could be, 
that could be what's going on here. Maybe there's some karmic things that need to kind of play out in order for you to move forward. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. We'll do it all again next month.